one, it's Fashionista Seems. And we're back with an all new mini game, number 137, I have to say. And it just keeps going up, folks. I think we have a very nice crowd on today, and it's thunderstorming like hell. I'm sure the people are not going to be very, very happy. Take it away, team! Well, I think you have Tink Bart Spells. Welcome back to an all new mini game. Fred, it's storming again. I'm getting sick of these stuck. Might I have a knife? Oh, I think Nicole left it. I need a souvenir from the machine we did. Might I have to always be here when it thunderstorms? Let's introduce our contestant, shall we? Returning as our bachelorette, Ed Helms! Hi, everybody! Returning, Nadine Lee. Hey, y'all! Hi, Nadine. Hi, Cletus. Returning, Bone Hilda Bones. Hello, lovelies, I'm back. And of course, in our third chair, as always, with his little gnome, Smokey. Ed Bow! I hate this fucking rain. Hi, everybody, I'm here. And our lovely cameraman, Fred. Hello, Fred. Hi, Chuck. I think it may be a decent game, so we might be struck by lightning again, Fred. I'm concerned. I am too. I stay concerned. All right, Ed, go with your first question. Thank you, T. You're welcome. <laughs> Bachelorette number one. Yes. I love to sing and dance. I'm an actor. I played in the once. I mean, I played in is a onceler and all kinds of, of of crazy stuff. Have you ever? Uh oh. Is that the camera? No. Have you ever done any acting? I was in the Haunted Hill Village for a little bit. Uh oh. Our green screen got struck. Not again, Fred. Them damn things are expensive. That's what I'm saying. Expensive. We have a hat. Oh, never mind, Fred. Fred, are you okay? Oh, I'm <clears throat> All right, here we go. That's cool. I like that short run series. What happened? I have no idea. I think it's good. Our yeah, three one show up. Our thing was glitched. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. Bachelorette number two. <laughs> yes, darling. I love this thing and dance. I've been in. Different movies and things. Have you ever done any acting? Of course I have. I play a maid. <laughs> no, just kidding, Nelly. I'm a maid. <laughs> Are you okay? I got struck, you idiot. I just asked if you was okay. Oh, be quiet. I'm staying there. You're electrocuted. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Bachelor at number one. But yes, Arling, I've done some acting. I loved it. It's easy. Watch out for it. <laughs> Bachelor <at> number three. <clears throat> Ed loves to sing and dance, and I love to act. Do you? Do you ever have you done any acting? I do acting every fucking week. I'm on hair, Dale. I, that's a, that's a tell you something. I do different kinds of let plays and shit. And I enjoy myself. That's cool. Bachelor at number two. Yes, darling. <laughs> Ed is always happy. Are you always happy? I usually am very happy all the time. Unless someone pisses me the hell off. And then I'm not so happy. Okay. Bachelor at number one. Ed is always happy. Are you always happy? Not all the time. <clears throat> Why not? I have a stupid brother, for one. Nay, Dana's that's not nice. It's true. I have to deal with your dang crap every single day. I'm calling Mama. You want to try to tell them, you, I swear. Why do you think I don't, why do you think I don't like dealing with them sometimes? I don't blame you, honey. Is he a little brother? Yes. Bachelor number three. 
It's always happy. Are you always happy, Ed? Hell no, I ain't always happy. I'm miserable most of the fucking time. Unless I'm eating ham, then I'm pretty damn happy. But then after this guy, I'm not very happy. I mean, I deal with this show every fucking week. How could I be happy? Honey, we'll go get you a shower while we wait for a sec. Yeah. I can. Alright then. <clears throat> Nay, dang, where'd you go? I'm taking a shower. Oh. Uh, Aren't you going to show no nudity? Because people apparently don't like to see it. It is waiting. The lovely lady to return. Oh. <laughs> Might I always had to. Why am I crying? It's making me wetter. No, I'm saying you're back. That's cute. Bachelorette number one. Serious? You feel better now that you've showered. Ah! What the hell? That was cloth! Luckily, it was my chair. <laughs> oh, that was scary as hell. That's the red number one. Yes. What would you like to bring in a lovely picnic date? Or what would you like me to bring? I would be happy to bring all the food. Pecan pie, apple pie, salad, <laughs> chicken, chicken ham. Ew, yeah, I'm there. Pork, all the good stuff. That sounds delicious. And you're not going to clean this. Why not? I like to eat too. It's supposed to be for a date. Oh, I could bring Bone Hilda. Oh, I can eat this. Yes, darling. Maybe. We'll see. Bachelorette number two. What would you like to bring? Bring? Ed cannot talk. What would you like me to bring or you bring on a picnic date? Let's see here. Maybe some sandwiches, some ham sandwiches with cheese and tomato, onion, lettuce, pickles. Mustard, who no? No mayo though. Hell no, no fucking mayo! Uh, maybe some potato chips and dip, some beer. It'd be very nice. Calm down, Ed, it's okay. I can't handle this shit no more, Nate. Ain't about to get on my fucking nerves. Clay just gets on mine. What did I do? Everything. Bachelor number three. What would you bring in our picnic buddy date, Ed? Ham? Taste salad, corn cob, uh, maybe some cake or cookies or cheesecake or something like that, and plenty of fucking bar. That sounds very nice. Thank you. No problem. Bachelorette number one. Yeah. What would you say is one of your best dates? I, I honestly cannot ever have a good day with my brother around. You always try some way to ruin it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe if we go out, we'll have a lovely date. I'm, I'm coming too. No, you're not coming. Uh, we're not paying for you, Cletus. You'll have to go home. Yeah, you're going Bye. home. Yeah. Bachelorette number two. What would you say maybe it's one of your best dates? Let me see, honey. Let me think for a minute. Oh, There's a very nice Korean man I love. Um, What's his name? Uh, Zuga from BTS. I've never been on a date with him, but I think he's sexy as hell, and I love him. I would love to go on a date with him. I think someone might be upset with me if I did, though. Ah, well, that's who I would like to go on a date with. Actually, I've never really had a good date. That just sucks. Well, you know, it's the way it is. I'm sorry to hear that. That's okay, baby. No problem. It. Bachelor number three. What is your best date? 
I had a really good date with Nicole and Dixie, I have to say. Uh, I loved it. We went to Applebee's, had a nice meal, went and ate, ate uh, some popcorn and candy at the movies and that kind of stuff. It was wonderful. I had a great time. Even though Nicole kicks me out, you know, that's how it is. Sorry to hear that. Bachelor at number one! Yes? If you were going to be in a singing competition, what song would you like to sing? Hmm. He's letting that name. Is there any songs out there where I can kick my dang brother in the butt? Uh, I don't know. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's getting hot, though. Gosh damn it, make it not so hot! Dennis Kim, Dennis Kim, Dennis Kim the Weather Fairy. That's better, thank you. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song you want to sing in a singing competition? How about another one about the ghost? Yeah, that'd be a good one. Hey, I'd hey, love that song. That's for you, Cletus. You're mean to me. I'm telling Mama. She'll agree. Bachelorette number two. Yeah. If you were going to be in a singing competition, what song would you sing? I would sing Border by BTS. I love that song. It's just amazing. That Suga is a hell of a rapper. All of that guys are really good though. But it's my favorite, Suga. I think somebody likes Suga. Eh, his name is Soga, but his real name is not Soga, but I like to call him that. I think it's cute. Okay, then. That's the number three. If you were going to be in a singing competition, what song would you sing? I want to rock that ham. I want to, I want to, I want to. I want to eat that fucking ham. I never heard of that song. It's my own version. Cool. Bachelor at number one. Yes. What would you say your favorite animal is? My favorite animal is a dog. We love dogs. Bachelor at number two. What would you say your favorite dog? I'm sorry, animal is. It's a dog, honey. I love dogs. Okay, good. Bachelor at number three. What is your favorite animal? I love bear gnomes and fucking pigs for sure. I like dogs too. I had some cool dogs when I was growing up. That's cool. Bachelor at number one. Yes. What would you say is your your favorite number? Mine is three. Mine's sixty nine. No, because it's a funny number. <laughs> I love that number! <laughs> Ooh, it's a six number. Bachelor at number two. Your favorite number is three. What is your favorite number? Let me see here. My favorite number is. I love three too. It's Soga's favorite number two. Hey Soga, I love you, honey bunny. You're adorable. You're just so cute. I can just kiss your whole face. Get gowed. Bachelor number three. Ooh, my favorite number is three. What's yours? I don't think I really have a favorite number. I go with 69 too. That's the fucking best number out there. <laughs> oh, great. oh hell! I tried to get fucking Nicole to give me fucking head in my damn let's play sim maker, but she told me to let us know. Get it head of lettuce and let us know. That was funny, I thought. Good to know, Ed. Mhm. Mm Butthole. Butthole kick. Oh, All right, go with your last question, Ed. Okay. Bachelorette number two. What would you say is your worst date ever? 
Let me see here. There was this man named Nicholas Potatowski. Nicholas Potatowski? I've heard that name before. No, you haven't. I know I have. Anyway, he was a little kind of a darkish, blondish, brown hair. I don't know. It was weird. He had long hair. I like long hair and guys. But I love your hair, Sober, just the way it is. Don't change. But anyway, he had kind of long hair. And we went on on a date. He had this red sports car. I think it was a Camaro or something. Not really sure. It was very nice though. Anyway, he picked me up at my house. We went racing along. Out in the country and around. And we had a good time. He had a top down. My Back then I had hair and I was alive. But I not now, so yeah. I had red hair in fact. My hair was blowing in the wind. And I was having a wonderful time laughing and joking. And it was a good date so far. And the next thing I know, we stop at the beach. And was, I, I don't know why all my dates in at the beach, what they do. I had no words. Anyway, there was this nice little boy playing in the sun. He was digging. He was very cute little boy. I went over to say hi to him. And he, he said, can I bury your feet in the sun, ma'am? I said, sure, why not? Now before I knew it, Nicholas had bathed my whole body and I was dead. I smothered in the sand as I died. So yeah, that was one of my very fucking worst dates ever. I'd say hell. Holy crap. Did he ever get caught? Yeah, he did about a week later. He was in Kalamazoo, Michigan. They caught him man that's there. Anyway, I came out of the sand and I'm bone healed, so there you go. I still love myself. I don't see why not. You're very beautiful. Why, thank you. Why, that's very sweet. Bachelorette number one. Yes? Who would you say your worst date ever is? My worst date ever? His name? Was Randy? No, Randy's your ass house. Randy Stevens. Okay, it's a common name. Fine, I'll accept that name. I thought he was a nice guy at first. <coughs> but you know what happened? What happened, honey? It turns out that he was best friends with Cletus. And he still is. You broke his heart. Shame on you! And it was Cletus's idea. For him, yes. for, to get him to spy on me, just report back to him. I did not. He lied and I got on to him about that. Anyway. Will you stop interrupting your fucking story, Clay? Let her fucking talk. Hell. I'm telling the truth. I believe you. He's telling stories. Dang. He don't have his brain damage. Dramage? Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Maybe it's brain damage. And he was, I know she's writing down stuff in, in his phone. What did he write? Information about me when I was eating and drinking. And Why did your brother want to know that? He wanted to ruin it. Your dad? Yes, he always does. Why? He I thought he set you up with a man. That was his way of getting revenge for just because I ate his Pop-Tart. You're kidding me, really? No! You shouldn't have ate it. It was strawberry, you know. That's my favorite. And it was the last one! I'll still get even with you. Oh, come on, Cletus. We, oh, we, good God. I'll buy you a whole fucking box of strawberry Pop-Tarts. I'll buy you some more, dang it, Cletus. All right, then. That sounds like an awful date. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Yeah, it's Cletus's fault for the most part. Let's see. Randy ended up wanting to have a damn one night stand in it, so I kicked him in the crotch. That's the way you do it. You don't do not ring his bells, baby. I did. You can ring my bell. You, you, ring you, my bell. You know what he said after I kicked him in the crotch? Ow. Ring a ding ding. <laughs> that was cute, honey. It's true. He still ain't right. He still walked with a dick lamp. Serves him right. We're trying to make me screw him. 
Ew. Yeah. You should have taken up your sister, Cletus. Anyway. He won't have a dang one night stand, Cletus. You won't believe me, I swear. He said you're lying. Who gonna believe your best friend or your sister? You lied to me, Nadine. How do I lie to you? You do all the time. I don't lie to you. Hang on. Mama's t How could she? Never mind. She says you're telling the truth. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to be friends with him anymore. Alright. Bachelor number three. I almost burped. What would you say your worst date ever is, Ed? Let me say hey or hell. Anyway, I was on a date with a very nice looking woman, I thought. She had a nice big old ass and big old titties. You know, that's what I like anyway. And, um, she was, uh, <clears throat> a, a sim tuber. I found out she, she did porn videos on a mature sim tube. So I was all excited about going out with this girl. There's no telling what kind of crazy shit she was going to do maybe later. But you never know how people are. But anyway, what was her name, Ed? Her name? Her name was Geraldine Twatsum. Geraldine Twatsum! That's what her name was! Geraldine Twatsum! Get it? Twatsum? <laughs> You're fucking fucking me, Ed, with you. I swear, Ed. I ain't fucking me. This is what her name was. She was a fucking Sam Tooby. She was a mature. Man. Video channel, I guess. Anyway. I think Ed Helms fainted. Ooh. Anyway, we, we went out for a nice dinner. Had a good time, I have to say. And she asked me back to her place. And it was, oh, it was just something else. We went back to her house, and we, she got us, a, got us a drink and all that stuff. And then she proceeds to try to start enticing me into her bedroom. It didn't take much. I was going to run in there, actually, and I'm not a runner. But anyway, I walked in that fucking bedroom, and there was fucking video cameras everywhere. I was like, cool, I'm going to be on fucking Sim Tubi. People be seeing my nice little, cute little shaking ass, my nice little other parts and stuff. Hell yeah. Anyway, she put there and she, she pushed me down on the bed. And I was like, oh hell, she's going to jump on top and stop fucking riding me. Next thing I know, she laid beside me and she says, I'm going to turn these cameras on there. And I said, go ahead, honey, I'm ready for it. I'm saying this looks like to be an excellent fucking date. Probably the best one I ever had, I thought. Oh, but I was wrong. So I'm sitting there. Next thing you know, she turns the cameras on. And she gets up on top of the bed. And she starts doing a little dance. And she starts taking off her bottoms. I'm like, oh my god. I am so fucking ready for this woman, I tell you. I'm about to burst. Then she lays down in the bed. And she says... Welcome to my twat. I said, what? <laughs> Welcome to your twat? She said, be quiet, Ed. I'm doing a video. I said, I thought I was going to make love on the video. She said, no, I'm doing a documentary on vaginas. I said, what? A documentary on your fucking twat? She said, yes, Ed. It's very informative. I said, my ass it is. If I don't get to play with it, or do other shit to it. It's not informative. She said, sit back and quit screaming. My people ain't gonna like it. I said, whatever, hell. Anyway, she opens her legs, takes a fucking pointer, and starts telling me where her shit is. I said, I know where this... Shut up, Ed. I'm trying to teach people. I said, if they don't know where their shit is on their vagina, and I feel sorry for them. There's fucking steeper than Cletus, I guess. What the <laughs> vagina? That is actually true. It's a twat hell. Oh. Anyway, she says I'm pointing at my hairy patch. I said your hairy patch. That's your fluff. What the hell? Problem. Anyway. 
So then she proceeds to put her pointer on her clit and say, and this is my fun house, my clit. And I said, your fun house? How is that fun? It's fun for me. I said, oh, well, whatever hell. Then she said, this is my real big fun house right here. This is where the fun stuff goes in and goes out. And I was like, oh my God, I'm about ready to fucking just pass out and fucking boredom. And then she proceeds to just talk about boring shit. About her fucking twat. About what she likes and, and done to her. And what you can do for your lady. And whatever. And I'm sitting there fucking bored out of my fucking skull. Thinking, well, maybe after this is done, <clears throat> maybe she'll just come on and, and have some fun. Oh, hell no. She got done fucking with her documentary on fucking vaginas, and then she proceeds to tell me she's tired and wants to go to bed, and I need to go home. And needless to say, I never went back to that fucking bitch's house anymore. It's the most boring fucking date I ever had in my fucking life. Welcome to my fucking vagina, my ass! Alright, we'll be right back up to this fucking brief commercial. Hang on, folks. My God, that was awful. Roar! All right, thank you for that brief commercial on Welcome to My Vagina. I, I have no words, Fred. I didn't know she did commercials, did you? All right, Ed, would you like to pick Bachelorette number one? Hmm. Bachelorette number two? Hmm. Or Bachelorette number three? Although Ed is very lovely, I think I'd like to have a date with Nadine. Bachelorette number one. All right, Nadine, come on out. Do you have a date with Ed? All right, then. Let me get my stuff. You're not going. Come on. No, you're going home. I already called Mama. She's she's right in the front. No oh, crap. Ah. Hello, Nadine. You're very sweet. Uh, we'll talk about it in the car where we're gonna go. Cause I'm afraid Cleo's gonna follow. Okay. Would you like to swim there or walk? How about swim? Okay. It's faster anyway. Just so Cleo's won't come over there. You know I don't swim well. That's why. Bye, everybody. Bye, Fred. Bye. Have a lovely time, Ed. Thank you. Well, it looks like Ed's going to have a lovely time with Nadine, and Cletus is now leaving with his mother. But I don't want to go to your house, Mama. Shut up, Cletus! You're coming to my house! Anyway, stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new minigame. I'm Tink Fartsmouth. Have a nice evening! Thank you so much, Tink. I think that Nadine may actually have a nice date with it. He's a very, very, very nice man. But I love doing these so much. It's just, it's just, it's just amazing to me. The characters are amazing, and I love doing the videos. Any videos I've been doing, I'm enjoying. But thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I love you so good. You're beautiful. Hell yeah! That's right. I didn't know you was that damn. Never mind. No, God help me.